Hello and welcome to Sparrow once again. Today, well, this time, we are in the fourth world. We've just been doing the boss in the third world. No, wait. We're in the fifth world, sorry. Where are we? Yeah, we're in the fifth world. Damn it, why can't I remember? Anyway. Artisian world, key piece keeper, magic, beast, and yes, we are at the one, two, three, four, which means we are at the fifth world. Yes, fifth world with the dream weaver's world. And if you've done 100% everything so far, you should be at 8,000 gems, 58 uh, statues, dragons rescued, and 12 eggs. Lives doesn't matter. Anyway, as we go through, in this world there is actually, I don't remember if there is a trophy, if it should be, then the, it's the one where you have to ram like four of those big ones, but they're not really an issue. The other one is, there is a skill point with a hidden entry behind a wall. So of course, we are definitely gonna do that, because why not? But anyway, let's start with actually completing the map 100%. You would not like to actually go over there because you will get over there, don't worry. You will start with actually going over here, which you don't actually have to worry about. As long as these guys, without actually an armor, are there, well, those are pretty easy. This one can only be hit while he's small. That one can be very tricky. But anyway, let's go through the stage. Ah, they're having fun there. Easy peasy. Don't even know what he's shooting at. But anyway, we're gonna come back here anyway. Gonna easily move on. There we go. And we want to burn this guy because you need the cannon. First of all, you need to do this guy small so you can actually hit him later. Other than that, you want to turn this cannon around. And you want to shoot this guy. Well, I was actually hoping for the other guy first, but anyway. Hey. There we go, that was better. And now we can free the dragon. Hello, Spyro. Nicely done. I'll be done when I've toasted that nasty Nork. You're absolutely right, but that must have to wait. I'll just a little bit at least. Wow. Jump! Jump! I didn't want to jump! Why don't you want to jump? And here we have one stage. Which we're not gonna be doing yet. But it's definitely a stage we have to come back to. Anyway, the first thing we're gonna do, you can see this Joker, which is there. He's not actually that dangerous. In fact, he's actually harmless. Completely harmless. The fools you see in this world are invincible. But that does not mean they shouldn't be attacked. Sounds alright to me. Okay. He called them fools. I call them jo jokers. But anyway, he's right. You attack them and look at what comes down. Yay! You're definitely gonna take that. And whenever he's invincible and actually comes back, it goes up again. But it doesn't matter. There is nothing on the top. So now you can just take these triple poles. And go all the way back to the start. 
Woo. Okay, now that we're back. Literally have cleaned all the opponents, so there is not much resistance going through here. But you remember the place where these guys were. Do you want to ram so they can get out of the way? Because you need to go upstairs. Yes. And of course there's gems down there, but you want to be up here first. Now. Now you can see. Oh, did you see that? You probably saw it. You can see something strange on the screen here. When you turn the screen when you're standing up here. It's because that's a skill point. As you can see, just over the fly map with the two fools and the life, if you go into this... <gasps> what? What just happened? Yeah! It's a wall that isn't a wall. It's an illusion. Because on the other side, it's an illusion. Anyway, when you go over here, you get your skill point. And that's how you get the skill point. A hidden path that you would not have realized. Ah, of course, I picked the wrong one. <clears throat> and yeah, there's no point in actually getting the other one. This, that one I attacked there in the end, that was the important one. The other one is just for bouncing. But anyway, that is the fly map up here. So I was wrong about this one down here. Huh, lofty castle, that's why. Anyway, this is the fly map that we're gonna do later on. For now, let's continue gathering. probably take one of those mushrooms. I don't think it saves you just from jumping in the water because Sparrow haven't learned how to swim yet. So no, he cannot swim yet. Welcome to the Dreamweavers, young one. While chasing Nasty's minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. Exactly. Like the hidden wall. Prepare for something that isn't there. And he's absolutely right. The Dreamweavers can be... Dream, dream weavers can be a little bit tricky. Hmm. Did I just go the same way? I shouldn't do that. Because we need to go over here. Where there's gems. There's a box we want to have. Gems once again. And of course the boss stage. Along with the helicopter. But we are complete. And that was pretty much the point. 100% complete with the skill point and everything. So, we will actually go over to the first stage, which was that one hidden in the background. Well, probably, normally people would take that stage right over there first, but I am not. I'm gonna take that one in the back, because it's a lot easier to get away from again. Haunted Towers, that's where I'm gonna stop. Anyway, I hope I see you in the next video when I enter the stage and complete it 100% as I do with everything else. Thank you for watching.